Did you know that during the Victorian period, green dresses or green clothing were all the rage? But this beautifully coloured green dress held a dark and dangerous and deadly secret. This brilliant hue of green was actually made using arsenic. The Victorian home had seen an amazing array of advances, including gas lighting, which meant that rooms were lighter at night, and as a result, women wanted to wear brightly coloured clothing, or more brightly coloured clothing, and so this hue, this amazing version of green, was known as emerald green, and everybody coveted it. But to create these amazing coloured dresses, arsenic was used. Arsenic, when in contact with the skin, had a terrible effect. It produced ulcers and sores. And of course, if it was absorbed into the bloodstream, it could create havoc upon the body, including causing one's hair to fall out, vomiting, and also affecting livers and kidneys. Arsenic was also used on the beautiful hair pieces that women were wearing at the time. These were artificial flowers. And so for the green, green arsenic powder was um, put onto it to give it that amazing colour. But arsenic was used throughout Victorian society. It was considered like a wonder chemical. And here we see it used um, as part of William Morris's green wallpaper. And indeed, many wallpapers of the era contained deadly arsenic. Even Queen Victoria liked to wear green, and so you can see how it was the height of fashion to wear an emerald green dress. People soon did become aware of the deadly effects of arsenic because in November of 1861, um, a girl called Matilda, who was 19 years old, she was an artificial flower maker for the hair. She died of arsenic poisoning. Her death was reported widely in the British newspapers because she had formerly been a good looking, healthy young girl. But her job was to dust the artificial leaves of these headpieces with arsenic powder. And of course she inhaled the dust, she also had the dust on her hands and it created these awful sores and dyed her nails. In the papers it was reported that she vomited green waters, the whites of her eyes had turned green and she told her doctor that everything she looked at was green. Her autopsy revealed that arsenic had reached her stomach, her liver and her lungs and that she had died quite an agonising death. People were obviously shocked, and this affected high society directly, so they were absolutely terrified. And arsenic phobia seemed to take over Victorian society in the second half of the century. An article in the Times newspaper was sensationally titled The Dance of Death, and the author of the article concluded that an average headdress worn by a woman contained enough arsenic to poison 20 people. Very quickly, um, many people took up the cause of ensuring that arsenic was better regulated and wasn't used in everything. And as you can imagine, the emerald green dresses soon fell out of favour.